Good evening and welcome to the Miami Beach Senior High School Haitian Flag Day celebration. We hope and trust that each of you will have a great experience. Singing for us now the national anthem, Tylee Hooker, a senior here at Miami Beach Senior High School. Oh, say can you Flag Day of every year is celebrated on May 18. Haitians from around the world celebrate not only this one day, but take pride in our heritage all year round. But during the month of May, we make it a little extra. Haiti declared its independence from France on January 1, 1804. January 1 does not only mean the beginning of a new year, but it is also the day we celebrate our independence. The best way to celebrate is with soup jumu, which translates into pumpkin soup which was always cooked by the slaves, but they were not allowed to drink it before the independence. The soup symbolizes rupture, new beginning, new Haiti. Freedom, victory, reward, and anything that could explain how Haitians have overcome slavery. Haitian Flag Day is all about celebrating the heritage and culture of the country. Haiti was the first country in Latin America and the Caribbean to gain their independence from their colonial rule making them the second republic to defeat a European colonial power in the Americas, but the United States didn't recognize Haiti as an independent nation until 1862. Haiti's flag hasn't always been red and blue. Since 1804, Haiti has had four different flags. The flag was changed from red and blue to red and black in 1964 during the presidency of Francois Duvalier. When Duvalier's son went into exile in 1986, the flag was restored to red and blue. The words underneath the flag say L'Union fait la force, which means united we are strong. It is now the country's motto. Going us back in 1793, a former slave from Haiti in Paris was showing off a red, white, and blue flag with the motto Notre Union fait notre force, translating to Our unity will be our strength. Haiti and Canada are the only two countries in the Americas that are independent and both have French as an official language. Now here are some fun facts. Haiti has the most mountains of any Caribbean nation. When Christopher Columbus first saw Haiti and the entire island of Hispaniola, he thought he had found India or Asia. And Haiti's national sport is soccer. They first competed in the World Cup in 1974. Next up we have Miami Beach Senior High Haitian flag dancers.
Attention, mesdames et messieurs, c'est monsieur actuellement nous répondre si mon son de la tout le monde pour notre là. Pour y parler ça parce que il caille ma dit. Justin Chandler. Today, the Haitian flag does not wave in revolution, but in celebration. Today, we celebrate the people of Haiti and the men and the women who've seen the waves crash the shores of their island and whisper freedom under their breath. Let their independence screech the chalkboard of captivity. Let the weapons on the green hill pop like fireworks on the 4th of July. Let us celebrate Haiti. Let the pounding of drums jive our rhythm textually into a world of dance. Let us rejoice in red and blue. Not the red as in blood in our America, because we love to treasure the guns in our area. They say the heritage is weird, and that's hilarious. Privilege is a poltergeist tailored by, by fairy dust. The blue and the, and the slaves they jumped in when they couldn't live through hysteria. It's the same reason the uproar in the streets is so febrous. They're just like us. See, it's no coincidence. Of course there's a reason it's familiar. It's the hurricanes and the, and the earthquakes the country has been through. It's the, con it's the constant rebuilds of not only the land, but the, the character of the, land, of the land's people too. The hurt, the anguish, the hope, the hope, the hope, it all surges through us whenever they are impacted. We, we feel their impact. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not Haitian, but most of the Haitians I've ever come in contact with have been the strongest I've ever met. So today, not only do we celebrate the culture and the people of Haiti, we celebrate life, love, acceptance, and freedom. And freedom reigns. So let's rejoice. Next on stage, we have Adriana Vilpin. You approach me with a smile on your lips and slapped me five. Gave me a pound with your ignorance by telling me that I don't look Haitian. You shook my hands to welcome me open arms of your Statue of Liberty and then shook my soul with your audacity, stating that I don't sound Haitian. Accolades and jubilee citing the wonders of Haitian history, yet you say I don't act Haitian. You asked me if I was sure I was from IT when you are not sure where you are from. And you carry this mentality to the doorstep of your White Houses and your media coverage, showing me impoverished, barefoot, and hungry. Seeking food and water in the slums, you show the negativity of my cultural drums in the light of despair. So I don't look, sound, or act patient. Why? Is it because I do not have the seawater of Biscayne Bay dripping from tattered clothes? Or is it because I am not always dark as you perceive me to be? Did I mess up your entire theory of relativity? That all relatives of Haitians must be dark and comely? I don't look Haitian, you said. Is it because you did not catch me with a bucket on my head? Working in some factory with an accent on my tongue until I'm 40, 50, 60, dead tired? I apologize if there's more to me than voodoo dolls. And I apologize if there's more to my country than slums, poverty, and hunger. And I apologize if my poetry makes you wonder if I'm really Haitian, product of years of misgenination. I apologize if your idea and concept of me is not what you have proven to be. Accent on my tongue and pride in my eyes. Yes, I'm a product of IET's thighs. I'm sorry if you thought you'd find me in some sugar cane fact. I'm sorry if you thought you'd find me in some sugar cane field. I know how many of you may feel. 
catching me with a pen in my head instead of a machete, beating a gavel instead of a drum, judge, doctor, lawyer, teacher, accountant, nurse, and engineer, my goodness. I think we have instilled an absolute fear deep within your socio-political heart. My history, drew the original plans and freedom chart. So is this why you want to keep us apart? Because we don't look like what you expected us to be? Or are you still upset because we declared we were free after riding the freedom train to a 1,084th stop? stop. Upset still because we made the world's mouth drop. Extra, extra, read all about it. Haitians have declared themselves free. Napoleon and Leclerc embarrass internationally. Haiti becomes the original Statue of Liberty. Extra, extra, read all about it. We held troops to be self-evident before the first shackle, built an above-ground railroad way before Harriet went underground. New rivers before Langston told my horse, before Hurston spoke to the international pharaohs like Moses did to let our people go. Stood so side by side with Erewhon and Tainos. Yes, we invoked our Petros and Shango, spoke with the same tongue as Patrick did. Give me liberty or give me death. Built our capital of freedom on 15 hills of wealth. And you know what we called it? The Port of Princes. I don't look Haitian, and you don't look American. Are you Cherokee or Apache? You don't look like the original indigenous Indian, but you do look like an international comedian. Because you got jokes and jokers in your White Houses, and punchlines filled with coke lines in your Congress, political white lies that are blasphemous stand-up comedy in your judiciary that needs to understand that they need to stand up for justice, justice and honor or step down running your ivory house like a circus with father and son clowns. I don't look Haitian with my multilingual self, English, Creole, French, and Spanish. I am more than a serpent and a rainbow. I am the real rainbow coalition with multitude of colors and artistic intellectual erudition filled with powerful history. The power of my stride is energized by the Haitian women who stand next to, not behind me, for they have galvanized Haiti when many ostracized me. Women of different shades within our community who do not believe that our, our better tomorrow is an effort in futility. I look and am so Haitian that you fear me. Look past my face, dark or light. Look past my hair, straight, curled, or kinked. Look past your own mentality into my heart and you will see. My only nationality is defined in three letters and that is I, E, T. I am not Haitian only because I was born in Haiti but because Haiti was born in me.